Amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining our um, prayer team and our church family as we come alongside the pastor each day and pray um, together. What a privilege it is when we're able to come together uh, in the power of the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says one can put a thousand to flight. It also tells us two can put 10,000 to flight. We just do better when we come together, especially in the area of prayer. So I thank God for people all over our church, family, all over the community of Indianapolis, even around the country. We have people that join this prayer call each and every day from all over the country. And um, we just thank God for each one of you praying with us. We're just stronger because of your um, support of this, this ministry and this daily devotion. I praise God for you being a part. We're um, praying about producing the fruit of the spirit or bearing the fruit of the spirit in our life. And we've been praying each day about the list of the nine fruit of the spirit that are in Galatians chapter um, five and verse 22 and 23. And uh, each day we just read a passage of scripture and lift up the principles, or in this case, the fruit of the spirit that is in that passage. And we're um, going to be praying today about self-control, self-control, the fruit of the spirit of self-control in Galatians chapter five, verse 22 and 23. It says, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, gentleness, excuse me, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control against such there is no law. Amen. And as we pray today, again, we want to start with just Asking God to fill us with his Holy Spirit, a life that is yielded to the spirit, then allows the spirit to yield the fruit of the spirit in that life. And so it starts with us relinquishing control and giving control and guidance um, to the Holy Spirit for our life. And as he does that, not only will he guide us, but he will cause the fruit of the spirit to grow in our life. So I thank God for you. And we're going to be praying for the filling of the Holy Spirit in your life, but also we want to pray for the, the fruit of the spirit of self-control, which is temperance, which literally means to, to master our passions, our desires, and our sensual appetites. We want to bring those sensual appetites, desires, and passion under the control of the Holy Spirit. And that is what self-control, uh, the fruit of self-control is all about. All right. Come on, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you and bless and praise you for this day that you have made. God, we are rejoicing. We are glad in it. We just thank and praise you, Lord, for just the gift of today. We thank and praise you for the gift of eternal life in Jesus Christ. We thank and praise you for the gift of salvation. We thank and praise you, Lord, for the gift of your word and the grace that is contained in it. Lord, we thank and praise you for the gift of the Holy Spirit and the spiritual gifts that you bestow upon us, Lord. We thank you for the indwelling of the Holy Spirit that he lives inside of each and every one of us who call upon the name of the Lord for the forgiveness of our sin. We thank and praise you, Lord God, not only for his indwelling, but we ask you now to fill us with the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Heavenly Dove. We yield to you today. We yield our passion and our desires to you, Lord. We yield our own will to you, Lord, but not our will, Lord, but your will be done in our life today. Lord, we pray that the fruit of self-control and temperance would be evident in our life today, Lord. We know that the enemy comes in to steal and to kill and to destroy, and he does it by, Lord, trying to tempt us to, to move away from your commandments and to move away from your from your word, Lord, and to move away from your will by drawing us away with the lust of our flesh and the lust of our eyes and the pride of life. But we pray, Lord God, that as we're filled with your Holy Spirit, we would produce the fruit of the Spirit. We would produce self-control. Lord, that when we're tempted in situations and circumstances, when we're tempted by other people and personalities, Lord, that we will exhibit self-control, Lord, that we would have temperance that the spirit would help us to master our passions, Lord, that they would not get out of control, that the, the spirit would help us to temper our desires, Lord, that they would stay in control, Lord, of your Holy Spirit and in the boundaries of what you told us to be desirous of. We pray, Lord God, that the, the fruit of the spirit of self-control would temper our sensual desires, Lord, that we would have godly affection for godly things in godly ways. And Lord God, we just praise you and thank you for 
the power of your Holy Spirit. And we thank you for his fruit, Lord, being produced in our life today. And I just pray, Lord God, as we produce the fruit of the Spirit, whether it be love or joy or peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and even self-control, Lord, that, that we would glorify you, our Father in heaven, Lord, that people would see our good works and give you the glory and give you the praise and give you the honor. So, Lord, we thank you and we bless you and we praise you. We thank you, Lord, that, that as we yield to you, you produce a yield, a harvest, a fruit of the Spirit in our life. And we believe victory in the life of your people. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, today was day number 23. And we pray from Galatians 5, 22 and 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control against such there is no law. And today we pray specifically about living and producing the fruit of self-control, tempering our passions, desires, and sensual appetites up under the control of the Holy Spirit. I want you to go in that self-control today. Let the Lord use you today. I'll be back tomorrow to pray with you and to pray for you. I love you in the Lord. Be victorious. God bless.